Good morning guys. It is approximately 8.50 a.m. I'm in the middle of a forest or a wildlife reserve. It's absolutely gorgeous, beautiful morning. The sun just came out. But that's not what I'm here to talk about. We have a video coming up right now from last night. Me and Vicky went to Scotland and we uh, were told by Geordie Turner Big shout out to Jordy Turner, go and check him out on Instagram um, about an abandoned church. This abandoned church um, isn't any normal abandoned church. It was lived in by an elderly woman. Um, she died not long back and she left everything behind. And when I say everything, I mean everything. You know, you've got clothes, a bed, her actual belongings. Just everything, anything you can think of, classic toys, dolls, it's covered in dolls everywhere. So, don't let me bore you with all the uh, telling you what's in there. Let's go and have a look. Watch out. Wow. So, on the first entrance, we've got in the back door is wide open. We've got dolls heads, chest pieces. Or bottles. Wow. I hope this hasn't been trashed. Don't you worry about a thing. Look at the look at the stuff that's been left behind. Victor, a book for boys. The stuff in here is is classic, it's really beautiful. So guys, it's it's one of those places again where everything's been left by the previous occupant. Um, you know, there's there's nothing kind of you know artificial about this. This is genuine. The bird's nest there. You know, if the last occupant has lived here, you know this is where they lived. Oh, this is uh, how she lived. This is what you know she's put up. That's beautiful. The back door's wide open there. Cloth over it. We'll, we'll actually we'll close that on the way out. Put a device there for pulling weeds. But I mean, look at some of this stuff. That is absolutely gorgeous. Is that porcelain. Yeah. But that that's obviously a, a new feature. But coleslaw. We've got books there. Tracker bars. Let's have a look at the date on that. 2009. These poss possibly, I'm not 100% certain, obviously, but these might have been the previous occupants. You know, it's just things like that bring you that much closer. And that there, 23p. Goddard's silver dip. And some bird seeds on there and. Some other stuff, some paint, some more porcelain. It's quite nice to see that. Oh wow, the jacket. It's quite, quite nice to see. Still hung up. You can imagine her coming in, hanging a jacket up from wherever she's been for the day. It's is that a workman's belt? Um. Uh, All right. See. But inside, this is what I think. I think this is the kitchen. Yeah. Looks like the kitchen. Well, there's no, there's no cooker. There's no stove. There's nothing like that. Um, no idea, but from first impressions, this might be the kitchen and someone's done this, which is horrible. But you've got things like this, you know, actual artifacts. It's nice, it's nice to see stuff like this left. There's a rug on the floor, it's still uh, quite.
quite nice. So I'm going to go through this way and have a look. Oh, oh my word. Wow. I don't know how to describe it, guys. Right, before we go in here, I just want to say thank you to everyone that watches. Thank you to everyone that appreciates what we do. I'm going to show you this, because we are now back after a short break. There's been a lot going on. I won't divulge too much in that. Um, we've had a little bit of a break, just a breather. But this is it. We're back. We're going to do this. I'm going to take you inside now with me. So please enjoy it. Take it all in. There is a lot of stuff in here. So let's let's do it. Let's go. So as promised, guys. So so you can get a good view of actually like the the size of this place. It's, it's an old church. It's huge, absolutely huge, absolutely. Huge, and there is stuff everywhere. And I don't just mean in little corners, I mean everywhere. This nice old lady must have lived in here. She's a bit of a hoarder. Oh my word. Vicky. Oh. That is incredible. Right guys, let's have a look at this. Are they hand-drawn portraits? Some of them are quite scary, especially that one. There's more to them. Look at these. How stunning is that? <laughs> really nice. You know, some of the stuff in here, the younger generation don't know about some of it. You know, we haven't seen, we don't know it exists. But to your, the people that lived here previously, this will have been part and parcel of their life. Stuff they grew up with. It's just been left. If anyone recognises any of this stuff, or you've had it, drop a comment. A calendar there from 2001. That's a clear 17 year ago. There's not a lot of history about this place online either. In fact, it's quite scarce. There's not, there's basically nothing. It's known as the Hoarders Church. That's all we kind of know about it. And when it was a church, it was left and an old lady bought it to live in. Oh, that wall has just really come down, isn't it? All oh, right, there's a trap door. Well, a big hole in the ground. Be careful of that. Look at that pram. Look at that. You don't see stuff like this anymore. That pram's awesome. Uh, teddy bears. I like these things. They put them in the bottle. And they uh, open them out in the bottle. It's quite impressive. Really nice. Here are the cups. I wonder where she sort of lived, what was a living area? Or if it was all of it. I wonder why none, none of this has been moved or claimed. It's quite strange. sink oh we've got a sink right we found a sink cups so these cups you know what i mean these could have been the cups that she drank out of or her friends you know what i mean people just come around to see her right there's a toilet we found that there's possibly a cellar down there doesn't look too safe though doesn't look safe at all Right, let's have a look around. Is that when she died? 
Right guys, I think we're going to end this one here. This place is absolutely amazing. The things, it's not like the building, it's the things inside of it. You can tell there's a story and there's a life here. Um, or has been. She seems to be massively into dolls and diorama type things like houses. And the knitted one over there, someone knitted it. You know, it's just amazing the amount of stuff that's still here. And her bed and everything, you know what I mean? It just goes to show that when we do die, what happens to our stuff, it just gets left. So it is quite sad on that note, it is really sad. So, yeah. I hope she died peacefully anyway. So we're going to end that one here anyway, guys. Thanks a lot for watching, as always. Um, give it a like and a subscribe. If you do like the new content, we are back. And we are just doing a UK trip basically, we're going to go all over the UK and cover things we haven't seen before so like, subscribe, get a comment in and we'll see you on the next video thanks a lot guys, bye